This video is to connect the Roger Phonak touchscreen with the Cochlear brand Canzo processor. First we'll need to turn on the devices by turning on the Phonak Roger touchscreen. On the side there's a power button that you can press and hold until the light turns green and the screen turns on. The remote assistant gets turned on by pressing OK until the screen comes on. And the Mini Mic 2 Plus from Cochlear uh, has a gray button on the end and you press and hold that until the green light comes on and that will turn that on. Once all the devices are turned on you'll need to take the Roger X which is this little button it has one um, post that's a little bit thicker than the other two that is going to get lined up with the hole that's a little bit thicker than the other two in the end of the mini mic. Those get plugged in and as soon as it plugs in it should turn green on the DM system option. Um, if you if it doesn't press this button right here it's the long gray one and that will go through the options that is the microphone the mini mic itself this is a telecoil which I don't have and that is the um, Roger system once that option is chosen we'll go back to the remote assistant and to turn it on to Bluetooth press the sideways button and then press the down button and then hit OK. That should connect the mini mic and the Bluetooth um, component of the processors and at that point in time the processors will not have any lights at all and then when we go to the Phonak touchscreen Um, I typically use the subnet option that is just to connect one processor to the teacher. You can use a network if there's more than one processor, um, but for my class there's only one. And uh, press connect. And sometimes it'll show that it's not turned on or there's different option or different errors that happen like that. Um, typically it's the same error over and over again so just make sure that the mini mic is on it's flashing green make sure that the option for the DM system is connected I also try going back and forth from the network to the subnet and that one that worked um, the only other thing that could be wrong with it if you have to troubleshoot is going back to the um, remote assistant and making sure that the mini mic is actually turned on. Um, the processor right now, that little error that was at the bottom, the processor wasn't um, connected and as my kid turns his head um, because he's sleeping, um, sometimes that gets knocked off. So. Uh, to make sure that it is connected, you can go list, advice, list devices and that should take a second and that should show that that is connected. Well, that's not showing that it's connected so we can try to connect again and it's off. Okay, I'm going back to that one that's turned on that's turned on and there you go. Now we're connected to the network which is fine. Either one will work or should work and there it is.